Uh, I started in 1989, I think, around about there. It's kind of a, you know, great, great period. I think, I think my, you know, Nash was like the first time I ever really like watched street skating, you know, with like, uh, you know, Wheels of, Wheels of Fire, Streets on Fire. Like both those two videos were the first real videos that I saw that were like full street video parts. Yeah. was like a big part of those videos. So seeing that at a young age, in an, in an area that there was no ramps, there was nothing, it was basically just street. I, I got a lot of the tail end of like old concrete parks in the north of England, which had all these weird trannies, were totally inconsistent transitions, and you know, like eight foot flat banks with then two foot of tranny that goes to vert, like that's the bowl, yeah. like, what is that? <laughs> so I grew up skating a lot more like that kind of tranny than who did ramps and stuff, because we just didn't have it, you know, no one could afford to pay to build the ramps, and the little backyard ramps we had were usually like, four foot wide and you know we're lucky if they were four foot high. Like, when I was really young I used to live at the, uh, in like a really rough area in Liverpool where there was a really big hill and I used to see kids skateboarding down it and I used to sit on like a little banana board you know a little down a blue banana board and roll down the hill on my back so I knew of skateboarding years before I started skating but it took like seeing some kids in my school that were like these two guys in particular um, and both of them were kind of punk as one of them was just like full denim head to toe, you know, mohawk and stuff, and the other one just looked like an, an absolute oaf, just a just monster of a man with bald hair, just like, right, like chopper with no facial hair, facial hair. I think it's around about 1989, that's when I first started skating, I would see those guys around and that was like, wow, look at the, look at the board, look at the colours of the wheels, look at the graphics, they were so just strong. And that was the first like kind of thing that kind of really got me started in skateboarding. I see those guys around, and then one of them had a skate video, and I asked him, like, "Hey, can I watch that video thing?" And then he didn't have it. It was in another guy's house. I finally found it, and it was uh, it was like a copy of a copy of a copy of Savannah Slammer. Uh, and that was the first skate video I saw, and I watched that. And I didn't find out till years later that it was only half of the video because it was such a bad copy. It was just scratching. But but that was the first thing that like, I was really influenced by. It, it was America based, based. It was really important, like with the you know, local uh, skate mags, the English skate mags, it was really important that everybody supported that scene. And we all wanted to have pictures in the mags and see our friends in the magazines and everything. But I think we all looked to the American mags and the American uh, pros for, uh, insp for real inspiration because this is kind of, you know, it's, it's the area where it was born, you know. Everyone needs a heart, and this is the heart of skateboarding. You know, aside from like injuries and ups and downs, where like everyone has it, where you, you do something for a long time, there's periods where you're like really into it, really going for it, and other times where it just slows down a little bit. Maybe your body's recovering, or you know, you're just kind of re refining inspiration. Um, but I've always got it from like the same kind of sources. It's always like my friends around me, the skate videos that are coming out at that time, and then old school videos, skate videos. I mean, the other night, like I sat in the house and for three hours and I don't have any time and I sat for three hours from like 12 till 3 in the morning just watching old skate videos that I remembered and trying to find stuff online that I knew weren't available anymore. It's like old to... GNS videos with like Willie Santos and Chris Mark which are anything I could remember that I'd seen but wasn't readily available now or that I don't have on a DVD. Uh, some Chris Mark which was really early GNS video parts were rad that went on a ride a video on Stun. Yeah. Both one of those were they really inspired me like because like as street skating started to like really evolve and I didn't know that then but now looking back you can see that like when Markovic came out in some of those videos he was the first one who was really bombing fast, you know, and flipping his board and going really quick. But like but prior to it even like that, like my first real big inf the first pro that really influenced me and was somebody that I looked at and said, oh, I wanna be like that it was Danny Way. You know, and that was because I was a little kid and I was one well, I skate all the time. Like I would go skate at like seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and come back at like seven o'clock at night. You know, I'd skate the whole day, whereas most of my friends would come out for two or three hours, I'd be up all day. And Danny was the first guy I saw in videos that was really small, really short, and he was doing like alley with twists on vert over channels and he was thirteen years old. You know, and I was around the same age, so I saw that and went Wow, like you can do that. I want to do that. And uh, so Danny's like been an influence that far back from me, and still now he's incredible.